Hold it there. Good. Hello, I'm Irene, and welcome back to History of Ramyeon, where I've been eating through all of the instant ramens in Korea in the order that they were introduced. Today's ramyeon is bibimyeon. Do you know bibimyeon? Bibimyeon? Man? Myeon? Soupy Myeon was introduced in 1984. This is a hard change from all of the hot soupy ramyuns that came before. This is the first saucy ramyun of our series. I've invited two special guests, my friends Ashley and Justine. Hey, welcome! These are my resident BTS fans. I'm Justine, my bias is Jin, and my bias wrecker is Shuga. And I'm <laughs> Ashley, my alt bias is Jimin, but I also bias Jin and Namjoon, uh, and my bias wrecker is Jaehoon. And I'm Irene, and my bias is Suga, and that's period. And pibimyeon is actually one of the favorite ramyuns of BTS. Have you guys tried pibimyeon before? Growing up, when the summer hits, like my mom would always buy pibimyeon instead of chapagetti. Like that's how I knew when the weather would like transition from cold to hot. Ooh, mm -hmm. I love that. I had never had it like growing up, but I only just started having it because of BTS. Honestly. Oh, nice. Once I started eating it, I became kind of obsessed with it. There's an episode of Be Live where Day Hope like, pairs around. Around. Yeah. with like steak. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I think yeah. it was. Yeah. Full confession, I've never had pibimyeon before. What? How dare you? <laughs> Pibimyeon literally just means mixed noodles versus say like a brothy noodle. It also usually in Korea means like a spicy sauce. This dish is more similar to pibimguksu or like pibimilmyeon. It's like very much a summer dish because yeah. it's eaten cold. You guys eat it cold or do you eat it hot? Oh, I don't eat it apparently. Ooh. You cannot <laughs> eat it hot. I see people eat it hot and I am offended. All right, so things got really overheated. As we were editing this, we realized that I never explained. There are two different ways of eating pibimyeon. One one is hot, which is where you just drain the noodles, you mix in the sauce, and you have it kind of room temperature. And there's also cold, where you rinse the noodles to stop the cooking, and then you mix the sauce. Let's go back. All right, let's make the ramen. We got our sauce packet. The sauce packet is really, really key to pibimyeon. Nongshim introduced a pibimyeon prior to Paldo, mm. but it had like the powder. Paldo, which is actually a small company, they invented the sauce. You cook it and then you use the little holes to drain it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm hangoing now. Ooh. All right, we got our sauce. Yeah. And you guys rinsed yours in cold yes. water. Yeah. I did not. Can you show the JK method of yeah. doing the this? Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it worked. And it's genius because your hands stay clean and you get all of the it sauce never works out. For me. Can I tell you about the crazy history of Pibimyeon now? Yakult, like they started making probiotic little baby yogurts that we all know and love from mm -hmm. our childhood. The, like it was really hard for them to sell like probiotics to people. They thought like chugus would be a good people to sort of explain like why it's good for you. Original door-to-door -door salesman. <laughs> is that like? And Yakult ladies also were tasked with selling condoms because Korea wanted to reduce its birth rate. They gave condoms to Yakult ladies so they could just go around and be like, yo, Yakult lady, can I get a condom? Uh -huh. She's like, you're traveling she bodega. <laughs> when Paldo came out with this pibina, they were having like a hard time sort of explaining to people, you know, why you would want this and mm. how to make it because it's different than the ramen that we had had before. Right. They gave pibina to Yakult ladies who went around and explained to people how you make pibina. Wait, we can just sell anything. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Mmm. That's a hot one. It's it good. Up. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You wanna try? I really do. Mmm. Yeah, it's spicy. spicy. I love like, spicy sauce, chewy noodles, and this for me is the perfect like ideal of that. I like how the spiciness has like some tang in it. You kind of pick up on like a little sweetness. The sauce mm -hmm. is killer. They apparently spent so much time developing this sauce to make it super, super wow. perfect. Okay, the one downside that mm -hmm. is a really common Korean complaint is that mm -hmm. The pibimyeon is classically not, one serving size is classically not enough. Yep, yep, <laughs> but yep. two is too many. I remember like we were watching that V-Live mm -hmm. and RM says that. He was pleading with Paldo like to please make like a 1.5 version. Yes. And then they did. They released like a limited version for yep. like yeah. just a couple months. Hot tip, I like to take kimchi and I like to put kimchi juice in it. So then it kind of turns into <gasps> like a kimchi pibimguksu. <gasps> I mean, I'm a saucy girl. And it just 
makes it well good. Mm. The thing I love about instant ramen is the same thing I love about BTS is I feel like it's like a very Korean thing that mm. has become so accessible and popular in America. As a Korean American, there's something really special about being tied to Korean culture in that way. When you know we were young really seeing K-pop, it wasn't mm -hmm. cool, it was weird. Yeah. About the moment that I was at my first BTS concert in LA last year, and I got very emotional. This huge group of people that are mostly non-Koreans, like singing mm -hmm. Korean, like, that was such a pivotal moment for me, I think, as an adult. When I found BTS, because I was like, am I allowed to like like this? This is like so Korean. And like the more that I learned about like their meaning and like how they are like advocates for like self-love and it's okay to like not fit into like a mold of like like a Korean. This is part of who I am. The more that I did, the more that I like kind of found that I could like really love myself, be a little bit more like confident in who I am. And through ARMY and food, I like, was able to find people and like really good friends like like these two. I like to rate the Ramyuns on a scale of 1 to 10. Um, I'm gonna give her a solid 9.5. Ooh! I'm gonna give it a 9. Overall knockout taste. I'm gonna give this a, a 7. The sauce is so good. So I would legit so, put that yeah, sauce it's on mm -hmm. everything. Yep. The fact that you have to like make the noodles and then wash it in cold water, it's like, it's, true. it's yeah, just like it's an like extra tedious. step. And mm -hmm. sometimes I'm just like, I'm hungover. That's fair, so that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat yeah. it, done. That's fair. So that's like the one like my negative point for mm -hmm. me. But ultimately, this was such a delicious ramyun. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Love BTS. Yes. Please like and subscribe and comment below with your ramen hat. Bye. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to condoms. Twenty-two.